Hey everyone, this is Fi. I'm checking out Untitled Metroidvania Project Demo. <laughs> this is a game I've not played before. Uh, as you can tell, it doesn't apparently have a uh, proper title yet, uh, but we're going to give it a playtest and see if we can give some useful feedback. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, have to ask the developer here if he wants to provide a, a link of some sort. If anyone's interested in checking out this game, if you see this video, um, or perhaps maybe to a Twitter page or something, whatever he wants, I'll, I'll have to <laughs> ask him, but we'll see something in the description below if you want to find out more. Um, so I've not seen anything past the screen <laughs> that you're seeing here, uh, but I will note real quick, the music is very loud. Um, I turned it down considerably in the capture. I might actually turn down a little more. Um, <laughs> so hopefully that's more reasonable uh, for anyone watching, but um, I'd suggest turning that down quite a bit. Um, I always suggest to developers, you know, open up some other games you might have installed and kind of compare the relative loudness of the volume of your game to theirs. Just, you know, try and get it in a rough ballpark. It's a good idea. That being said, let's actually give this a shot. I do have a Xbox controller here. I'm hoping it's going to be supported. Um, currently it's in a window. All right, start worked on the Xbox controller. Looks like we got a file select. Let's try the options. Music is at 10, sound effects at 10, video options. All right, we want to toggle full screen. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess, I guess the yellow is the, the current setting. Window size is X3. Toggle VSync off on. We probably want that on. Um, actually, I don't know. Is this exclusive full screen? I think it is exclusive full screen. Maybe? Or maybe it's borderless window mode. <laughs> maybe it's borderless window mode. It's hard to say, but um, if it's... That's another thing it might be nice to have an option for. Um... If this is borderless windowed mode, then uh, the VSync on and off won't actually matter because anything that's in that mode is going to automatically have VSync in Windows, unless you tweak some window settings, you know. Um, but it's normal to have VSync in Windows, so you need to have exclusive full screen to get rid of the VSync. Um, sometimes it's been harder to tell lately if I'm switching in and out in borderless window mode, but I'm pretty sure it's not exclusive full screen mode and it is indeed in borderless windowed mode for the full screen um, but it should be okay this kind of gamer has pixel graphics in particular i think usually works better when you have vsync anyways um let's see did i miss anything here uh, video keyboard options controller options looks like controller options aren't implemented yet also looks like there's no way to go back by pressing for example the b button on the controller i have to actually go back to I have to go down to where it says back and press A. Um, might be nice to have that option. Let's try the escape key on the keyboard. Does keyboard stuff work? Oh, the space bar works, okay. Uh, so let's just go ahead and f hit file one. This looks very unfinished. Uh, <laughs> this might be, like maybe some of the stuff on the right is stuff that you'll collect throughout the game that gets populated. These areas get populated with those things. Uh, I might surmise that that could be the case. Um, as it is, this kind of looks like it's some placeholder stuff. It doesn't really look like anything properly. And so I'm not sure if that's intended to be placeholder or not, but that's just what it looks like to me. File one, new game, start, copy, erase back. Um, let's just hit start then. Looks like I have to actually move my mouse off of the screen here, which can be mildly annoying. It also looks like we have sort of letterboxes on the left and the right. Uh, which is interesting. It's not quite 4.3, I don't think, but um, the screen is narrowed a bit. Uh, looks like we've got thumb thumbstick support, which is nice. Uh, maybe... looks like I could use a bit more of a dead zone, though. Dead zone is pretty slight. Uh, you can get a lot of misinputs if the dead zone is too low. So the sweet spot that I always suggest is 0 0.4, the dead zone. Um, I wouldn't go any lower than 0 0.3 and probably not any higher than 0 0.4, but I think 0.4 is generally the best. Um, too high and it's unresponsive, too low and you get misinputs. Uh, so it feels like it's a little too small. <clears throat> but functional, I guess. Um, also can use the D-pad here. We can jump. Feels pretty good. 
Oh, we can shoot. All right, it feels very... I guess Mega Man-esque. It's, uh, there's no shooting upwards or diagonally if, unless there's like a button. Well, it doesn't look like any of the other buttons so far do anything. We have a pause menu here. We got option exit. Interesting how the exit is so bright even though it's not actually selected. Looks like our game time is being recorded in the bottom left. We got HP and EN. I don't know what that is, but hopefully we'll find out. Um, let's see if this option menu works. Okay. What if I... Alright. So again, it'd be nice to have some way to press a button to get out of this menu. It also might be nice if I could just press start again here because this is kind of sort of still back in the pause menu. So if I just want to go back... It'd be nice if I could just unpause, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I wonder if this would, like, recharge my sh my health or something. It's sort of like in the Metroid games, like a save station. Is that... Can I shoot that, or...? <laughs> it's like it, it doesn't look intimidating. Oh, it's afraid of my shots. It looks like a tiny rhinoceros. Or a, or a T-Rex. I, I mean, not a T-Rex, a Triceratops. Tiny Triceratops. Oh, I can shoot this, okay. Um, interesting, okay, so it's quite Metroid-esque, but it's also... Like, it wasn't obvious at all that this was possible. Um, I'm just gonna check what's to the right here. Try pressing up or down in this. Okay... So maybe... This looks more dangerous, right? Timing this is difficult. So because the jumping is quite fast, it's hard to, to time this kind of thing. The bullets are quite small. Um, it's very particular. It's actually <laughs> really surprisingly hard to, to uh, time this correctly. I guess if you do it this way, it's maybe easier. Um, and then I'm assuming that you can't get past this right now. I don't really feel like... Actually, I will just for the sake of testing, so... Okay, so... A pretty good amount of... I mean, th there's a, a workable amount of... Um, what do you call it? Invincibility upon getting hit, but n not like a lot. Um, so if this was kind of a big spike pit or something, you could get hit multiple times pretty quickly. Um, So it might be nice if that was a little higher, just the, the total volume, or the, the total amount of time that you got for invincibility here. This looks like you should be able to make this jump, but you can't for some reason. Um, this is not a big thing, but it feels a little bit like with the speed that I can jump that I should be able to move horizontally a little faster. If that means maybe maybe even the jump up and down speed should be slowed down slightly, you know. Um, Metroid in particular, it's pretty floaty, and in my opinion, it feels really good. You know, the Super Metroid style of jump. I mean, it's not. <clears throat> I wouldn't make every game feel like that necessarily, but but I think for Metroid, it kind of works. You know, it feels very spacey in a way, but um, the kind of level traversing that you do, I think it works well. Alright, that guy looks dangerous. Um, so I was hoping I would find a way to refill my HP. Now I'm noticing it's at 7. Oh, okay, I guess I get HP from shooting guys. Little things that pop out. Um, what is that? Wait, what? Oh, okay. So the stuff that gets absorbed, I notice that the when the health or whatever flies into you, it's like really fast, so it's a bit hard to notice. I would slow that down, actually. Um, it can be nice when stuff is kind of zippy and um, quick and responsive, so you don't have to wait around for it, but in this case, I think it's more important that you actually see it clearly happening. That guy's dangerous. Oh, I didn't think he was going to shoot again yet. Why 
isn't that disappearing? Is that not the same block as the one that was over here that I shot? Not really sure what's going on here. Maybe I can come back later when I have something different? I don't know. So yeah, like always having to do this little thing where you have to kind of jump and then mash the fire at, at exactly the right time during the jump. Having to do that all the time is a little annoying probably, I would say. Is that a thwomp? It's a spider. It looks like a thwomp from Mario. I guess it's approximately the same in <laughs> approach, but... Yeah, see, like... Maybe if the jump was a little floaty or something, so that the vertical speed wasn't quite as much, that wouldn't feel quite as annoying. Um, not that bad, but it just seems like it's kind of always happening and... Um, oh, it could be a little tricky. And yeah, you... Oh, okay, yeah, I'm starting to think that the, <laughs> the invincibility time is definitely shorter than it probably ought to be, because it seems like I'm getting hit like twice in a row, or like one mistake is a pretty good sign of that probably not being where it ought to be. Oh, that guy just regenerated. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that guy to turn around instantly like that. I wonder why... I think we have to go this way. I wonder why he would be programmed that way. So usually I just shoot these guys before I kind of get close to them, right? But I guess they're programmed to kind of walk towards you, um, which maybe they shouldn't be because it seems more intuitive to me that they would just kind of continue on that the way that they're going. So if I jump over them, they'll just keep going in that direction. Um, if they do turn around, it would make sense, at least in my opinion, for them to have a little bit of a pause before they turn around so that you don't end up in that situation where you try and jump over them and they kind of instantaneously turn around and run into you. Uh, it can feel kind of bad. Anytime an enemy is reacting instantly, it can lead to some problematic stuff because it's just very counterintuitive that there's an instantaneous reaction from the enemy, you know. Was this where I was going before? Might be nice to have some more landmarks of some sort in the visuals. Everything's a little plain right now and it's not, not necessarily that I think it needs to look better, although it could help with you know a few details here and there. Um, but it also just helps in terms of landmarks to help keep the player oriented in, in where they are. Um, and just navigating areas that they're not intimately familiar with yet. Um, so yeah, the jumping is a little tricky. Which I think just comes down to how fast it is. Oh, that guy just re respawned or whatever. Like this jump is oh oh yeah, I don't like getting hit multiple times for one mistake. That never feels good. I would I would think of like doubling the uh, the invincibility time there. Um, but yeah, making this jump is really hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, this is. Oh, it's too bad that I have to go all the way back to the start if I die here. Um, yeah, so what I could do is try to bait the spider down and then shoot him and then make that jump, but um, yeah, I think it's a little telling how, how hard that kind of jump is, um, which I think is a combination of just the way the horizontal and the vertical movement works together. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely getting the sense that the vertical jumping, both up and down movement, is a little too fast. You slow that down a bit, the the angle at which you can jump left and right would be kind of pushed a little more horizontally. Right now it's quite like vertically oriented. You just hold left to right and jump. You kind of go up a lot more than you go left to right, um, which makes certain jumps pretty hard. You know, you have to try and tap the button the perfect amount of time, and with how fast it goes, it's quite hard. Um, if you slow that down a little bit, it makes timing these kinds of jumps much easier, so the, doing these different horizontal movements with the jumping and everything, as well as, you know, timing when you're doing the jumping attacks like this and such, all of these things get a little bit easier, I think, just with that really simple tweak. 
um, probably just feel better. I don't want to be too slow because, you know, loady jump doesn't necessarily feel good. Then you're like hanging around in the air too lo too long, but um, you gotta hit the sweet spot. I'm not sure if I like the spiders always reappearing like that. Um, maybe. Maybe you could increase the time between when you shoot them and when they respawn by a significant margin. That might feel a little more. I feel better because it's it's kind of um, it's not very satisfying when they just kind of instantly reappear, you know, after you shoot them. Another thing you might I mean, I'm sure this is fine. It might might make sense to make it a little more visually obvious at the respawning or something, you know, or maybe a sound effect or, or a little animation or something. Um, might be nice, but... Oh, that guy goes all the way down there. I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay. We gotta bait him and then shoot him, right? That's the safe way here. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit it's a bit too bad that your shot is kind of I mean, I'm not suggesting you change this, but the fact that your shot kind of is just too low to get over the little stair step. <laughs> so always doing little jump shoot thing. Um not sure what's up with this ground. Okay, we got blue. Oh boy, okay. Well, thankfully his shot also doesn't make it over the <laughs> little stair step here. Actually, interesting, it's kind of as high as it is. Um, it looks like I should be able to, like, oh. Hmm, alright, that was interesting. So I guess if I was here, it actually hits me. Yeah, hmm, that's weird. I'm not sure if that should be the case. Like, it's, it's sort of like an edge case, right, where if I'm back here, it's not high enough to hit me, but if I'm right here, then it is high enough to hit me because of the way it collides with this corner, so it kind of feels wrong to me. It's a really small thing, but um, I was going to say it does feel like I should be able to go under those bullets somehow, but I don't have, like, a move that does that. I can just jump over them, so that's nice. Oof. I missed it that time, though. Um, yeah, I guess it's another thing. If you have a nice fast jump, you can technically react to things like that faster. So I guess if you were to slow that down at all, you might want to slow down these bullets a little bit or something. There's definitely consequences to these kind of tweaks. Oh, those things just eat the bullets? They do take hits. Um, interesting that health thing flew in front of me but didn't fly into me yet. Um, I'm curious as to why these guys don't flash or anything when you shoot them to indicate that they're taking damage. It's a little sound effect, but I kind of expect a flash of something to, to indicate it. Can I get back up there? I guess- oh! Oh, this is- no. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. Um... I guess- <laughs> I guess this means I have to go all the way back around, right? Because I don't have any any way to get up there. That's not very nice. I did not expect this to be so punishing if I just went down there. I thought it was actually like a place I could explore just to go down. Um, yeah, it might be nice to have like some kind of health recharge thing here. But um, yeah, I don't I don't care for this having to go through like the whole all of the game I've seen up to this point just to get back to where I was because I jumped down there or even if I fell, you know it's very punishing to have to go back so far I don't remember if there's... I think I went in here and there was a block that I tried to shoot and it didn't do anything I don't know why This one disappears. I 
Unless it wants me to shoot it with <laughs> his bullet. I don't think so. I mean, that's an idea, but it doesn't... I don't see anything to indicate that that would make any difference. No. Why doesn't that work? I guess it's intended to be something different. It looks to me the same as the one over here that I shot. But I guess maybe it's intended to be a different block. That maybe some different weapon can work on, I don't know. Can you farm health on these guys? Seems like they don't drop anything. Yeah, I think I'd rather just see these guys just gonna walk to the edge and then turn around and walk all the way back until they hit something and then turn around, you know? It's less annoying that way, I think. Getting a little bit of frame instability here. I don't know if that's showing up in the capture or not, but it is um, just a consequence of this being in borderless windowed mode as opposed to exclusive full screen. It's another reason why I like to prefer to use exclusive full screen for games so you don't get any random frame jitteriness. Oh, that works out nicely. All right, let's <laughs> try not to miss these jumps. Is that a save thing? Press select, of all things, that's a little weird. I mean, I guess it's fine, but it's a little weird to use the select button actually at all in a game, I guess. Um, as opposed to just like pressing up or something, you know? Might be nice though, some kind of audio feedback of doing that. And I guess we don't get the HP back here. It's an interesting choice. Oh, there's a, a teal, whoa, a teal guy. He's quite fast. Guess I can ignore him for now. Some spikes down there. They're kind of being hidden by the, the little handrails. I'm not sure what I, I'm not sure if I like that. Also, I'm just now noticing that these are all spiders. <laughs> these don't really read, I guess when you cram this many of them together in, into like a little rectangle like this, these don't really read as, as the spiders, I think, at first glance. Until I kind of stopped and looked closer, and I was like, oh, those are, that would be pretty dangerous. But yeah, I don't think these should be obstructed by visuals. Especially since I, I, I doubt that these visuals impact gameplay at all, whereas these spikes absolutely do. Quite significantly, so I don't think it's a good thing to kind of cover those up a bit like that. Um... Yeah, this is pretty tricky. Oof. Yeah, that's hard to do without taking any damage. I can't actually get in here, so... Hmm. Oof. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have many options for movement. Oh gosh, darn it. He just shoots so fast. He actually, I think he starts shooting before I actually land on the platform. That's what messed me up. Because as soon as I'm in front of him, his firing sequence kind of starts. Um, so I didn't time that correctly. Oh gosh. Right, yeah, so the timing on things is pretty tight. Um, I tend to like having a good, you know, good spaces of... Uh, spaces between enemy actions and stuff that gives you a good chunk of time for the player to react to. Um, so right now we have telegraphs and stuff like that, but at least on this guy, but it's a little short maybe. Um, particularly for kind of like a really early enemy, I guess. Um, also for these guys that shoot at you, it's pretty predictable what they're going to do, but I think it would still be nice if they had like a little bit of a, a telegraph where they did like a little charge up or something right before they shot. Um, that would definitely help a little bit and might also avoid some of these situations like for, for whatever reason, 
my brain was thinking for a moment here, like, as soon as I landed on this, then he was going to start shooting at me. But because it's like, he only waits until you kind of are visible, so he kind of starts shooting at me before I landed on this, so I kind of messed up the timing. And for that reason, it's kind of a really subtle thing, but if he had a visual that showed that he was, like, preparing to shoot, then that would have given me a little bit of feedback, so I could have said, like, oh, well, he's going to shoot already. You know? Um, this background... <laughs> Um, I would say this background color is too close to the foreground color. This looks quite weird. I can see my character fine and stuff. Um, so that's good, but like the, the platforms that I'm standing on are like almost the same value. This looks like you should be able to make the jump. I tend to dislike this kind of thing because it just feels like you should make it, but you actually can't. These shots also don't really stand out quite as much as they should against this background, I would say. But it's manageable. Yeah, so this kind of timing can get a little annoying just because of how particular it is. You just kind of have to constantly be dodging and, and kind of spamming the attack with, within like really short windows of time, so um, adding just little bits of of downtime for the enemy's actions and like I said with like the little charge effect or whatever can make a big difference in making this feel a little bit comfier where the player just feels less annoyed at what it actually takes to deal with it you know <clears throat> even the fact that I can I can do it okay and like generally not take damage most of the time you know um, I still find it like a little bit annoying and so it's not not a matter of like it being too hard exactly as much as it just kind of feels. Oh, it's just one of these guys. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Anyways, um, this water is interesting. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's interesting because as soon as you pop out above it, you kind of get a lot more air control all of a sudden. But while you're in it, you get really sluggish. Feels cool, I guess. I like the low inertia, by the way, on the on the movement. Oh, oh my gosh! Please, okay. Let's say, please tell me this isn't like a soft lock scenario. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, we've got these kind of hidden blocks that aren't marked in any way that you can shoot, which is again, it's kind of very Metroid esque, but I don't know. So far, I guess it's working out okay in terms of how they're being used here. I don't know where I'm going. It'd be nice to have a map, actually. <laughs> now I feel like I need to be checking for secret things like in Metroid. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, it's a little annoying how I can't really rely on this guy's movement. I have to kind of sit and watch him for a while because I want him to go on the far edge to land in front of him and shoot him. But because he's very inconsistent in how he, how he moves, I might have to wait a long time for him to get over there. Like he's doing right now. So I would definitely simplify that. I think it just works better if it's simpler in this kind of case. Oh, you can shoot those afterwards? Since when? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Alright. Is that a thing? Vegetation? That was a little carcass thing. Where am I? Music stopped. Oh no, it's dangerous. I only have 7 HP. Um, <laughs> I didn't end up farming much in the way of HP, so I'm not feeling very good about this. Oh, what? It's a monkey type thing. Oh gosh. No! Holy crap! I don't have, like, dodge moves. All I can do is jump. Ouch. Oh my gosh. Even with a fast jump. Jump too late. I think I'm supposed to hit him in the back. Okay. I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's gross. Okay. Um, so it's good because I think we gotta save right before... Oh, crap. Alright, we got a, uh... A crash here. 
Um, let me see if I can get this onto the screen. There you go. Go to argument. Room go to. Argument one, incorrect type. Hopefully that's helpful for you. <laughs> I'm hoping it kept my game save. That's not supposed to show up there, all right. <laughs> it wasn't anything compromising, thankfully, but <laughs> that was not anything to do with the game. Um, let's try running it again. I believe the music in this is placeholder. I think that's what the developer said. Um, that opening music sounds familiar. I'm not sure if that's something I had played, like from another game I'd played or something. <laughs> uh, might be. Uh, so I think we're back where we left off. Basically, maybe. I don't really have much of a sense of direction. I actually think this is back further. This is back pretty far. <clears throat> Actually, it's not that far, is it? Yeah, see, I, I don't really have any idea where I am, so... Um, definitely a map would be great. I don't know if that's planned to be implemented at some point. Obviously, that's a big thing in, you know, Metroidvanias. Um, that would be great, and also, you know, just some more of these... Landmarks, like this, even just this little grass in here, this... And the little, um this thing right here. I guess this, maybe this is placed here um, for the sake of the fact that you're supposed to be close to the boss. I didn't really think it was that when I first saw it. It just kind of seems like normal things that you'd find scattered around the level, but even little things like this, it just kind of gives you a sense of like the uniqueness of the room. Um, it really helps for the player to get a sense of where they are in the world when they have little landmarks that aren't just, you know, the same exact walls that they see everywhere. Same background. I really need health. Um, I'm feeling like the save points would really work well to provide some health for me. These are really unreliable to provide health. I wonder if it's actually coded in a way that you're not able to farm these? That's really strange. Oh, I got I got one from there. I guess it's really rare. I'm not I'm not really sure what the I forgot you can Oh, that'll help. I forgot you can kill these guys too. Apparently they give you health sometimes too. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I'm still one off, but um Yeah, okay. So they're not going to give you health every time. That makes sense. But um it seems like with the way the game, the flow of the game and everything has been... Might as well just make the save stations give you health back, rather than requiring this kind of stuff. You know, like, I can do that, and then I have to go back and save now. So it kind of just... It's kind of just a time drain. It's not really accomplishing anything in terms of the design, I think, to do it this way versus just letting the save point do it for me, you know? Um, you could argue it, it takes more involvement from the player but I don't think just farming enemies is particularly engaging, so... Um, <clears throat> yeah, alright, we got that out of the way, so let's try this guy again. Without knowing his movements, it's hard to react. Sometimes he moves really slow and sometimes he moves faster, that's what makes it hard. So it's really hard to jump over him. Oh, I can, I can just kind of oh, stun him like this. I ran into him. Whoa. Interesting. I don't know if there's a, a strat hidden in here where you can shoot him and then jump over him. It seems like I'm, I'm randomly getting some hits on myself here. Oh, okay. I'm trying to... Oh, he just slows down suddenly. Yeah, so I would say for this... For this boss, <laughs> that's really gross. Um, is it gonna crash again? Yeah, it crashed again. That's fine. I'll just rerun, rerun the game. Um, I would say for this boss, let's make 
make sure this is actually hooked in. All right. I would say for this boss, um, you know, having these different behaviors and stuff is, is great, but it's particularly um, unpredictable in the fact that he he moves quickly and then really slowly and it's really sudden. All these different different speeds of horizontal movement, you know. Like it's one thing to have like a big thing that you charge up and like a charge attack or something that moves fast, but um, just the way his movements are designed, they're very, they feel very unpredictable. So you never know if he's going to go faster, if he's going to go slower, if he's going to go f like, he's already going fast and then he's going to suddenly slow down and that kind of thing. So just, um, just the fact that it's kind of designed in this way means that it's really hard to, to jump over him consistently because you can't judge your jumps if you don't know what speed is going to be moving at one moment to the next. Um, and that's kind of what the basis of the boss is. You just kind of jump over him and shoot him in the back, right? So it's pretty important to get that right, I think. Um, I think it's important to make sure it's predictable. Like, it's fine if he moves fast and you have to kind of, you know, time your jump skillfully, but it's different if it's just very unpredictable, I think. Um, I'm sure there's an element of it that you can kind of get used to, being more familiar with him. He does change direction kind of instantly too, I think. I don't know why I keep expecting him to speed up. I gotta wait for him to actually do the thing again. Oh! Another thing. Alright. Oof! And then he jumps suddenly. Alright, so I guess I have to bait out his little charge animation. Alright, so that works better, I guess, if I just wait for that. I don't like the instant jump, though, because there's no warning that that's going to happen. Yeah, that's just, like, insta-speed. And the fact that he jumps... Oh, okay, so I pause it. I'm, I'm stuck in my running animation, but the way he jumps up on the little lips um, makes it really easy to get hit by him when you try and jump over him, because suddenly he's, like, up higher vertically. Um... So I keep getting hit by that. Kind of makes sense to kind of stand on the lip and try and jump over him, but he just like bops up all of a sudden. So it's actually really dangerous. So maybe you could just make his make him do like a really small hop or something instead of kind of bouncing way up. He almost looks like he goes up on the ledge and then goes up in the air. Like he's here, and then he kind of goes here, and then kind of goes up. Something like that. Um. All right, we're gonna get this this crash every time. Um, hopefully I was able to articulate that uh, suitably enough. But I think I think I can beat this fine now that I've kind of figured out the details of it. I gotta kind of stay away from these ledges. They, they seem too dangerous, which is again really counterintuitive, but it seems that if I stay near the ledge I'm likely to get hit if I try and jump over him, so... thing to do seems to be avoid the little ledges here and try to bait out his charge animation thing and then jump over him, right? Oof. It's still hard to get... Go over here, maybe a little wider here or something. That's not... <laughs> I'm getting too twitchy, so it's like when I see him do something else, it's like, oh, I gotta jump. But he's doing a different animation. Not a lot of time to react, but I guess that's... It's the nature of a boss, maybe. Feels like it's harder than it should be. I'm also, because I'm doing the, uh... Because I'm doing a playtest right now, I don't have my full focus, so this kind of thing can happen also, where it's just... You know, my timing and reactions to things aren't going to be as good as they will be if I'm playing this casually. Apparently I can't outrun him. Not quite. And I did get hit like three times from one error, so I didn't particularly appreciate that, but... Come on, do something. <laughs> okay. Um... I do wonder about the collision 
There's been a few times when I just try to jump over him and I kind of collide with him. So I wonder if the collision on, you know, either the collider on him or the collider on me is a little bit too generous, you know, too big. Because it's kind of catching the corners when I try and jump over him. It's it's all happening happening a bit fast to really tell for sure. Like where all of that is. But you know, especially if you have square or rectangular colliders. You get into that case where it's easy to kind of clip the corners when you're trying to jump over something like that. Um, if the colliders are too big. <clears throat> but yeah, this definitely ended up being... <laughs> like I thought I was going to do better the last time. It ended up being harder than I thought it would, even though I, I thought I had a strategy worked out there. Um, I'm hoping the boss doesn't have a massive HP pool, because it's pretty tricky to get those shots into his back here. Especially when he goes down like that, and then like... I guess if he's going away from you, part of the problem is that when he's dashing away from you, he's kind of negating the speed of your shots, right? Because your shots have a travel time and he's traveling in the same direction, so... Um, it takes a long time for the shots to reach him, so if he kind of goes away and then turns around before the bullet even reaches him, then it's not going to hit him. Oof. That's harsh. Okay. I don't know what else to do. There's a really short window of time where you can actually get the bullet into him here. Yeah, see, it like... Feels like <laughs> the little jump he does at the end dodges all of them, my gosh. Um, feels like even if I'm doing it right, I'm still not actually hitting him. Oh my gosh. And if I, do, if I miss the jump for some reason, apparently I don't have an option of recovering it. Ah... Uh. Can I shoot him during that? No. Why do you bounce so much? actually hit him. It made like a sound that was different. That was weird. Ah! Uh, I didn't think it was gonna turn around. I thought it was gonna keep going that way. Alright, so this is gonna crash again. Maybe if I go to main menu instead of the uh, continue game. <laughs> Might not crash. So hopefully this is hooking in every time. Uh, let's try it once again. So yeah, this is definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. Like At first it was like, okay, well there's a few things that make it kind of tricky and this and that, but like once I actually kind of figured out what he was doing, I figured it would be easier because then I kind of know what to do, but even I kind of feel like I know what to do, but it's not actually working. <laughs> so it's like, what do you do then? And yeah, it might be nice if he doesn't turn around instantaneously when you jump over him. I don't know. Well, I guess... I mean, you don't want to make it easy to just like jump over him and then shoot him in the back like really quickly. But... That actually works better than waiting for him to charge. I can predict that. The little punch. Not a lot of time to react to it, though. Oof. Yeah, I don't like the way he jumps up on these little edges. Yeah, apparently that just doesn't work. I guess, I guess the strat, after all, was to... Uh, Made out the punches and not the charge. Ow. 
There's a big collider on that. Yeah, some of these colliders you gotta be real careful about it. If, if you get hit by... Oh my gosh, what was that? If you get hit by something that doesn't look like it should be hitting you, it's pretty frustrating. Um, no, I can't... Ah, uh, that's the other thing, like... If I... If I don't hit the jump right, like I tried to abort the jump, but I just ran into him even though I... Changed my mind quite quickly, I guess if... The, <laughs> maybe that's another case where if the jump was slightly floatier, I would have been able to do that, you know? Um, I think I've done, I did that a few times, so I think this ended up working without crashing the game, so that's good. So yeah, I guess I have the real, actual, working strat now, and I could probably execute it alright. Even though I'm playtesting and recording and talking and all of this at the same time. It takes like half my brain to do this stuff, honestly. tricky. <laughs> it's tricky to react to this. Alright. Because you have to turn around and jump over him and like not not hesitate or <laughs> abort the jump and run into him like I've been doing. Um, I gotta kind of try to program my brain to do that. I am not a fan of that diving jump though. I've, I've said that a few times. That's pretty ridiculous. Not really reasonably avoidable. It just kind of instantly flies at you. fast. So, <laughs> I don't know if this needs to be fixed necessarily, but if I'm running away from him and he's doing the charge, which is faster than my run speed, once he gets a certain distance from me where, where he's like quite close, I can't actually turn around to jump over him. Because as soon as I stop and turn around, or whatever, I'm just gonna run into him because he's so fast, right? Um, so once he gets a certain distance from me, I can't actually avoid the damage any further at that point um, because if I just keep running in that direction, he's gonna catch up to me and run into me. If I try and jump forward in that direction, it's gonna the same thing's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna end up running into him. Uh, and again, I can't turn around to jump backwards over him that way, so that's something that's happened a few times to me and it's kind of annoying. Um, I mean, I guess one thing that would fix that, I guess, would be if you made his charge the same as the same speed as your move speed. I'm not sure what other consequences that would have. Obviously, it makes it a little easier, you know, the game. And it's not really the point. Like, it's not about making it easier. It's just kind of frustrating when you get in, into that situation where you actually don't have any options anymore to avoid the damage. Um, like, you have to... You have to jump over him this way. The opposite way that he's going, and if you ever don't, then you just... You can't avoid the damage anymore, even if it takes like a second or two before he catches up to you. And if you get in a situation where you're just not really in an ideal spot... To jump over him, which is... Oh gosh. Another thing that happens. Um, like, is, if he's going off this ledge or something... He's going to the right here, off this ledge. Like, I can't go back and jump over him because he's up on this ledge, right? So it might be that it might just get into the situation where I have to run this way, the right, but then I get caught in that situation where he gets too close and now I can't jump back over him because I didn't, because of this, you know, this feature of the level. So this kind of thing, it's very hard to account for, for the player to account for this kind of thing in order to avoid damage consistently. Um, it's just sort of like an, it's almost like it's unlucky, you know, like technically the player could you know, just try to stay far away from these little ledges. They actually, in my experience so far, they seem to be pretty dangerous. Um, so maybe that's a good idea, but it's very counterintuitive, you know. Just doing this, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I keep getting hit by uh, nasty things like that super high-velocity leap thing. 
Alright. And because I keep stopping and pausing and talking, I'm like losing the focus and the rhythm. I didn't mean to do that and I have to rerun the game. I'm sure I can I'm sure I can beat this. Um because <clears throat> I know how to. If I stop talking about it so much, probably. Try not, I guess if you go too far away, he does like that supersonic leap thing that's pretty much impossible to react to, so that would be a good idea to not do. Try to avoid the little ledges a bit if I can. And just try to bait out punch and react to it properly. It should work fine. Oops. <laughs> the fact that he has the same sound effect for this butt scratching is makes it trickier. Now he just kind of instantly went went into his dash speed. I didn't I didn't quite understand why he uh, he was suddenly dashing so quickly there. I didn't really have time to react to that, I guess. It might have just been my own error, I guess, but... Crap. I had to wait for him to land. So again, these ledges, they're screwing things up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oof. Oh, come on. He just suddenly slowed down. That's not quick enough. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> I got too twitchy on the jump. Um, I have to like actually move to the right for a brief moment before hitting the jump button. I hit it too soon. Oh crap! <laughs> no, I was totally gonna hit the main menu button, but I just hit the button before I even noticed that the uh, the screen was up, and just like instantly hit that. So I'll just run it again. I'm sure this is painful to watch. I apologize for that. actually shoot them before the battle starts. No. <laughs> okay. Do it. Gosh darn it. Yeah. Maybe some of these colliders are a little too big. It's definitely annoying to just kind of like accidentally get touched by him. It doesn't really look like we're really running into each other very much, so... It'll make a big difference. I mean, this little chip damage with, with how long it takes for the boss to... to go down. Just getting chipped down by these, like, random little things that don't really... feel very good... over time. <laughs> you know, it makes the boss, like, massively harder than it would be otherwise. Just because it's almost like you have, like, a time limit or something. So the thing is... Stop! <laughs> if he starts... Because the way I'm moving, where I'm kind of tapping the button like this, um, if I tap it to move away like right when he starts doing one of his animations, it's kind of like I'm already doing an action to move away from him. And then what I need to do is, is to react very quickly to actually move towards him a little bit and then jump so that I can time and position the jump correctly to get all the way over him and not, like, jump too far away from him because I'll land on top of him and that kind of thing. So because the timing is so tight when I'm doing this all the time that this keeps happening where I'm... Oof. That's really loud all of a sudden. Um... 
or <laughs> trying to do what should be a rather simple thing is actually a lot harder. It's because of this. The matter of just how tight the timing is. And it's like sometimes it kind of happens at just the right time where it's like I can kind of react to it pretty, pretty easily. But other times, which I think it's just kind of comes down to the rhythm of like the way I'm moving. I'm kind of tapping the movement like that. If it happens at the wrong moment in that rhythm, then it kind of throws me off and it's almost like I can't really do it without like really superhuman reaction time, you know? Ouch. Ugh. Worried about that ledge. What if I do this? How well is this gonna work? Well, I don't like when he charges the dash right out of it, because then I get hit by it, because I'm spamming the attack. Maybe this was the play all along. <laughs> Instead of to keep going in one direction. Oof. Because this way, if he just suddenly goes into the animation, I'm already jumping over him, so this would have been a lot easier, I guess. <laughs> Um, I guess that works better. Oh, he changed direct- wow! This is the first time I've seen that. It actually looked like he shot something too. I wonder if he's changed, um, his behaviors from taking damage. Ah, uh, and I'm not sure what to do now. What the heck? <laughs> if he's gonna do that, do I keep jumping? Wait until he's scratching his butt or something? Wow, that, had, that happened really fast. Um, so I think what's happening is he's... His behaviors are changing as he gets lower in health. Um, shoot, this crashed again. Which suddenly makes this even harder than it was before. I figured out the strats here. Um, that seems really ridiculous. He moves... He uh, hits you with that punch attack. It seems extremely fast. Um, Not sure if that feels very fair. <laughs> I'll have to try it again. At least I'm getting further. The strat that kind of works now, but like as soon as, apparently as soon as he starts changing his behaviors a bit, now it kind of stops working, I guess. So now I don't, don't know what to do past that point. I'm thinking maybe if I just... Keep jumping. Oof. He just suddenly stops, okay. Shut up. Ow! Oh, frick! I expect that... that invincibility to last longer than it does. Wow. Ah, uh, see, that didn't look like I hit him. Look like a real collision. Darn it. Alright, I guess he's probably gonna start changing his behavior soon, maybe. Yep. Oh my gosh, that thing is fast. Oh that is that is mega fast. Like I don't have a move to, to dodge that that projectile. All I can do is jump. So if I'm already in the air and that comes out, I'm just gonna run into it. There's not, there's not anything I can do. Um, yeah, I guess I'll try it again. Unfortunately, yeah, it's, it's starting to seem like... Um, I mean, there's the issue that, of course, like I said, if I'm playtesting, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna have, like, my full skills to bear on the game in terms of focus and reaction time and, and all this stuff. Um, that's always a problem if I'm playtesting, it's just kind of the way it goes. But this boss is also seeming like it, it kind of gets like really cheap. <laughs> like, 
um, once it starts getting into its harder behaviors here. I'm not really sure how reasonable it is to actually complete it at this point. I thought I was just going to keep doing this, and I was like, okay, well, I kind of figured it out eventually. But then suddenly he's doing other stuff. I'm not saying it's impossible, but definitely doesn't seem very reasonable. Ah, and maybe... Oh, no, 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 that's not cool. <laughs> that's not okay. All right, that shouldn't be happening. Um, yeah, I mean, if, like, the pixels aren't even touching or whatever... I shouldn't be taking damage from that when you start combining that with the... the, uh... invincibility time being too short and I'm just, like, getting smacked over and over again. That's really frustrating. Oh, gosh, he's moving real fast now. I speed up. Oh, gosh, it's fast. Ah. No. No, the projectile. Gosh, he moves so freaking fast. Holy... Oh, crap. Okay, so yeah, he just suddenly slowed down when I tried to jump over him. <clears throat> uh... Oof. Alright, uh, I mean, I can try it one more time. I'd, I'd really like to beat it, you know. How much, if any, game is beyond this boss for the demo here? I'd hate to miss out on a bunch of stuff, you know. <laughs> just got stuck here. Ah, no, this isn't okay. I just, I just want to like restart. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it does work. Okay, it didn't work the first time. Did like mash it a few times. That was weird. Shot to the right. I tried to <laughs> I tried to move to the right and, and shoot real quick, and then I, I shot to the left accidentally. Oh, you can't make him stop when he's running. Okay. Interestingly, I can hit him when he's transitioning on these ledges. Sometimes. Oof. All right, sometimes it makes him go into defensive posture, but sometimes I'm kind of screwing myself because he starts doing something and then it, the shooting him doesn't lock him up like that. And I just like eat it because I'm not prepared for it. Oh, bro! You should probably stop stop doing the one thing before he starts doing the other, you know? I, I don't. Why is he doing it so fast? I don't think I actually hit him though. <clears throat> Oof, that's painful. <laughs> okay. Being hasty. No, I need that health back, 100%. Okay, I got health, apparently. I didn't really see it happen, but my HP says 20 out of 20. Yeah. 
take that. Oh, crap. <laughs> crap! It's definitely speeding up. No, I tried to jump again, but he still he just spin, turns around and runs into me. What, what do I do? What do I do? He's so fast. I don't know what to do now. Ah! Frick. Jeez, um... No. <laughs> Why does he go up so high? Uh, yeah, so like, that's the thing. Once Once I get to this point... Uh... I don't actually, like, know how to hurt him anymore. <laughs> like, I, I think if he starts scratching his butt again, I can have, like, a really brief window, but that's not really reactable. Especially since it makes the same sound effect as the charging punch shot thing. So I can't really react reliably to that. Um, once he starts shooting the thing and he kind of flips back and forth, uh, he turns back in the direction if you that you are if you jump over him. It seems like you don't really have any options left to consistently damage him without getting hit, so... Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do to actually beat him. Unless maybe I got really lucky or something. It's... It's not unusual for this kind of thing if I just, like... If I finish the playtest, stop recording, then go back to it in, in like a couple minutes and then I just kind of play it, you know, try it once or twice and like actually beat it because I, I have my full focus and everything. Um, that's happened, you know, <laughs> that's happened a few times already uh, as I've been doing these play tests. But um, in this case, I actually, I wonder even if I would be able to at this point because of the fact that the way his behaviors change as it gets low health kind of closes up all of the opportunities that you have. Um, so yeah, maybe, like maybe I would be able to beat it, but it's starting to feel like not very possible, actually, uh, which is really too bad. Uh, I guess I'll, I should probably wrap up the playtest then. I, I've been playing it a while. Unfortunately, I got pretty stuck on this guy. I don't know if he's at the end of the demo or maybe it's, maybe there's like, maybe I only got through half of it or less. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I guess, um, uh, well, I'll actually run the game one more time real quick because I do want to make something clear. All right, so talking about colliders, it's really important in, in any action game to get the colliders right. And by right... I mean, there's not really, like, one... <laughs> it's not one right way to do it, but they, it mostly follows the same kind of idea, so the thing that you have to understand is... Obviously, I can't see where you put your colliders exactly. Um, and I can't really assume with much accuracy where they are without doing some, like, frame-by-frame -frame testing or something, you know. Um, <clears throat> but when we have a sprite like this, you know... Some people might want to have the colliders be like encompassing all of the pixels, right? So if it's a rectangle, it would kind of go like this, you know, this kind of thing. And that's, you know, that's where you get hit and you take damage. The problem with this is that, like, if you look at this area right here, if this was all covered by the collider, there's no pixels here. So if something hits this area, it visually doesn't appear to even touch my character, but I still get hit. So in a lot of cases, this might be fine. Like if somebody shoots a bullet this way, and it kind of hits right here. Um, it's kind of like, you know, it, it looks like it should have hit him anyway. So it's like, okay, that, that hit me. But like if a bullet's coming up here, then it kind of, kind of you know, just touches the edge of the collider here. But it never actually even touches any of the pixels in my guy. It feels really bad. Um, so along with that, like if we had the, the boss guy, for example, maybe he had a similar collider where it was kind of like, you know, there's these corners that are kind of sticking out. Um, and of course, the way that rectangles interact, like if I'm, 
if he's jumping over me or if I'm jumping over him and then the corner kind of hits the corner, then that's like the worst case scenario because there's just nothing hitting nothing. And, you know, it feels really bad um, if that happens. Uh, now, I'm not saying that you necessarily put your colliders right here. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know. I don't know where you put them, but um, it does feel like there's times when I'm kind of just brushing up against the boss and getting hit by it, and it doesn't really feel very good because it's sort of like, you know, you don't want to just kind of lightly brush against something and take full damage from it. You want to get, like, really impacted by it. Like, it really feels like it, it really hit you, you know, so... Um, the solution for this kind of thing is when you when you're working with your colliders, um, uh, you know generally you have you have colliders that you you use to interact with the level and stuff like that. But when it comes to taking damage, you want them nice and small usually. So it would be sort of, you know, this isn't an exact description, but you know you'd want something kind of inside the sprite a bit here, like it's kind of inside all the pixels. Even if the the limbs are sticking out, that's no problem, you know. You don't need to take full damage if, if something brushes a limb, you know, two or two or three pixels of these even, and doesn't hit anything else on you. If something touches those pixels, it doesn't matter. It never even like hit hit anywhere near the center of you. So if you get your hitboxes nice and small, that really helps a lot with avoiding these situations where it feels like you didn't you avoiding these situations where it feels like you took damage when you probably shouldn't have something hit you when it didn't really quite hit you you know that kind of thing um not just on the player but on like everything you know <laughs> um it's a really good philosophy to to understand and apply um let's just go look at the boss here real quick so in terms of your game again i i, I can't actually know where exactly you're putting the colliders um I don't want to make it sound worse than it is, you know, it's, it, it doesn't feel like completely broken or something. But, I think if you make these, you know, quite small, it's going to feel a lot better. The player's going to feel more in control, he's, he's not going to feel like he's um, getting hit by anything unfair. And it will make the game a bit easier, of course, but the good thing about that is it's like, it's sort of like it's easier in a good way because, um, if you want a hard game, the best way to do that, of course, is to make it hard in the right ways, right? So if you can kind of cut out things that make it hard in, in less fun ways, and kind of say the wrong ways, you can kind of cut all that stuff out, it's going to make the game easier. But then what you can do is you can, you know, the ways that it's actually good to be hard, you can actually kind of, you know, make those a little harder to compensate, and you end up with a game that's just all altogether more fun, it might be just as hard as before, it's just more fun. It doesn't feel as frustrating and it feels more like it's the player's fault you know this kind of stuff so <laughs> it's all stuff to consider i know it's kind of a long-winded description um the way this guy's animated it's not really obvious i mean hopefully you wouldn't put like hitboxes way out here this kind of stuff i don't know where you put them but i would put them pretty small in here you know just like right in the center it doesn't it doesn't need to be as big as maybe you might think but um yeah i don't know i'd, I'd be interested to see where you put your hitboxes but um, yeah, just once in a while, it definitely feels like maybe it's just a little bit too much hitbox there. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I should bother trying to fight the boss again now that I'm here. <laughs> Probably not, but, um, I don't know. I took a brief break. Maybe it makes a difference. Maybe I can kill him before he... Oh, gosh. I think I almost did. <laughs> I almost kill him before he uh, gets to his next cycle here. What do I do when he does the punch now? The punch is like ultra powerful now. Unavoidable. Are you gonna scratch your butt or something? What do I do? What do I do? Crap. <laughs> Randomly hit him. Oh no. Oh wow, okay, okay, so I cheesed him. Alright. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, okay, so... I mean, you can see what happened. I did, like, massive damage on, like, three different attacks. Almost killed him, and then... Uh, spam bullets got, like... 
two random hits in that weren't really legitimate, and then I kind of just kind of physically ran into him and spammed the button, and it killed him. And I have two HP left, so I kind of tanked enough damage. And she's the boss. Oh, okay, so I actually did get an upgrade. Okay, so this is what I was interested in. I was, uh, because up till now I didn't get any sort of upgrades or anything. Press X to use a powerful bunch imbued with energy. Change, change sub-weapons using A, S, or equip, unequip using the menu. Okay. Okay, it has energy. So I can't just use it as much as I want. That's... I mean, it's very Mega Man. But I'm a little disappointed, actually, because... I guess that's what this is for. Oh, wow, that blew up a lot more than I thought. I'm a little disappointed because I can't just use it as much as I want. Um... Just, you know, that may be fine, but I kind of like the feeling of just being able to, to use the abilities a lot. I think, actually, as much as I like Mega Man, and particularly the Mega Man X games, um, which, again, have the same kind of system, much as I love those games, I kind of use the, the normal shot, like, all the time, you know, except when I needed to. I mean, there's rare occasions where I might have used a, a different weapon to to get through something it made easier, you know, but um, it's kind of like as much as I could, I kind of used the normal shot unless I needed the other weapon. And I feel like that's a little unfortunate because, like, why even add all those weapons if, um, if, well, you don't use them very much. <laughs> so one way to get the player to use them more is to not have these energy requirements, you know. Um, so that's... Oh gosh, this again. I mean, I'm sure there's reasons for it. That are legitimate and all. Um, you can make them nice and powerful without them just being like super OP and stuff like that, right? I guess this doesn't just blow up the enemy, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not, not that powerful, I guess. Um, I don't even approach this guy. I have to, like, go over here. Okay. I was kind of hoping the fist was just going to blow him up <laughs> with the one shot, you know. Uh, so I guess I just I just go back. Might as well keep playing it. Oh, jeez. It's a good thing that guy made a sound. a lot of time to react to him. Might as well keep playing a bit because I finally got past the boss and I can actually progress in the game again. These are kind of annoying to deal with again. I guess I have to go on this platform, but that guy's gonna ah, shoot at me. So I guess I kind of have to kill him. And I'm all the way down to 3 HP. It definitely seems like you don't Wait. This wasn't open before, was it? Is it tied to the enemies? I haven't seen that before. I only have 3 HP. Um, yeah, it definitely seems like the, the energy drops are maybe a little too rare. It's a bit too hard to get your HP back, I mean, at this point. Sort of like I'm, I'm sort of forced to try to farm it, but it's quite rare. <laughs> um, I don't want to go down there because those spikes, holy crap. What do you even do about those? Maybe we got saves. That would be a nice opportunity to get my HP back because... I don't have to try to farm it like this. Should I have gone back where that door was? I'm so... Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah. No, I don't, I don't... I'm not a believer in this. Um, is this going to crash again? Of course it's going to crash. Yeah, I don't want to walk, walk through a door and instantly die. That's not fun. The save points are placed pretty well, I would say thus far. You don't have to go back super far. You do die. Oh my 
gosh, see, I didn't even... <laughs> I had no idea I was even gonna come here. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I had full HP, I probably would have gone back in that other door. Um... It's a bit annoying when you have two ways to go, but they're so far apart. Because then you have to say, like, which one is actually going to be moving forward and pro progressing the game, and which one is going to be, like, maybe it's just a room that has a power-up in it or something, you know? You don't want to, like, leave that behind. And you have no no way of knowing which door you should go for. And they're so far between them that, ugh. Um, oh my gosh. I missed that jump. So far between them that it's not easy to just like do one and then the other, you know? It's kind of weird the way this worked out. Because I know I can go back here to use the fisty thing. Thank goodness. So yeah, I would definitely try and differentiate this block. It looks almost identical to the one that you can just shoot. Oh my gosh, this guy shoots like as soon as he gets on the screen. That's not great. You're gonna have a little bit of time to react there. Is this forward in the game? Ah, see, now I regret not going the other way because it's like... Oh, it's totally forward. This is Metroid music. So now I gotta go like all the way back to try and <laughs> check what was in that, that other door. Hopefully I can hold on to my HP this time. Um, I guess another thing that can make these enemies slightly- oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Slightly less annoying is if they take less shots. And they don't take as long to do these like silly like jump and then attack and then wait and then jump and attack. Um, all this kind of stuff, like all these enemies are a little bit kind of particular like that. But it just takes a while. So if they just take less shots, it, you know, can make the game flow a bit better. It feels a little more reactive to your input. You don't have to do such repetitive things. Tends to feel nicer. Um, I think. Crap. Whoa. I don't know if that should have hit me or not. <laughs> I didn't really react to that properly. Oh, that thing could sh get shot. Okay. <laughs> it's like the one cycle. The speedrun strats. Better remember not to fall down here ever. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and save this, I guess. Um, now that I have like full health, I wonder if I can... I guess that's the speedrun strat also. Oh, okay, I'm down here. I don't like this part. That's particularly tricky with the platform here. Alright, that works too. Because you can't really like jump over the bullets. I guess if I kill this guy, it's gonna... Go away. Yeah, I wish these guys moved more predictably. Because it's not fun just like waiting around so long for them to move to the correct place. All right, what the heck is in here? I think I think if I go down that hole, it goes to the other place, <laughs> the room below here, and I can't jump back up. Um, I guess there we 
go. What is this? I get like a morph ball or something? Can I go in there? I think that's, yeah. Oh, I can shoot that. <laughs> okay. Maybe, I don't know, did I shoot bullets that get rid of that? When, the, when it was off screen? Ooh, hello. HP expansion, all right. Increased by three. That was gonna be more than that. All right, so it looks like if I had another weapon, some kind, I could go up here. How do I get my energy back? I only have two energy left. These enemies all respawn, unfortunately. Um, ah, I've yet to see energy spawn in. This is another case where it looks like I should be able to make this jump, but I can't, and that's frustrating, and it's doubly frustrating because there's a spike pit right below it, and a laser guy right here that's going to shoot you even if you miss the spike pit. <laughs> so it's a bit much. Oh, shoot. Wait, can I get up there? Wow, what the heck? Okay, <laughs> all right. Very unexpected. Okay. So I had to jump off the little ramp thing there. Kind of weird. Wow. Okay, there's no collision. Whoa, <laughs> this is so weird. Like, is that... Is that a feature? Is that a real thing? That there's supposed to be blocks that don't have collision sometimes that you can kind of go behind? I mean, it looks slightly different, right? Interesting, okay. All right, so there's some kind of a weird tricky room here. Is this possible with my current move set here? Oh, that's frustrating because the thing is right there. I want more doodads. I want upgrades. <laughs> I don't think this is possible. Oh no. Wait, let's try shooting stuff. Crap. Used up my e my energy fist. Um, oh wait! Directly above me, there's one of those those fake blocks. It doesn't have collision, I think. Is it? There's one right here too, I think. Maybe that's not an actual thing. <laughs> Maybe it's just there for cosmetics. Maybe that's not. Because I think that's what these are. I can shoot through them. But the placement doesn't seem to make any sense. Like it doesn't impact anything. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can get here unless I have some other ability, I guess. That's too bad. Ouch. Alright, so apparently there's quite a bit more games still. There's like a whole new style of area that I haven't even started on. I don't know if there's going to be like another boss after all of that. I should probably wrap up this video. It's been very long. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I finally beat that boss. I was really interested in seeing if there's any sorts of upgrades or whatever. Uh, looks like we get some Mega Man style weapons. Um, which I guess take energy. Uh, kind of hope that the energy fist was like stronger than it was. I guess I don't know how strong it is exactly, but you know, just the fact that it's so limited in use, you kind of hope that it kind of blows enemies up or something. And the fact that it's like really close range, so that would feel really good if it really blew up enemies. I think because it's so unsafe. Oops, tried to jump there. Just being kind of impatient here. Wait, how did I get energy back? Maybe it was in one of these, um, the orb things that you pop open. I think they had a different color thing with it, but remarkably rare, the energy drops. 
which is really unfortunate. I mean, I was already kind of lamenting the fact that you have energy at all, but <laughs> how little of it you can even get, it seems. I'm like, why would I even use this ever? Especially if you have to use it to get to like open up pathways. Like what I just did. I was lucky that I had the one so I could even progress. If I didn't have that, how long would it have taken me to even get that? Can I not jump up there? Again, I, I really don't like these when it looks like you can make the jump, but you just can't quite. Uh, I guess he's stuck. This looks like one of these. <laughs> Reminds me of the dry bones in Mario, like I should jump on his head. Wow, there's actually daylight. That is remarkable. I did not expect to see that. That is so bright. <laughs> Compared to all the gloomy underground areas. Holy crap, is that bright. This is like HDR now. It's actually a little hard in the eyes. I didn't miss anything back here. Yeah, you can definitely go up there. You have like a double jump type thing or something. Kind of want to move faster, like I want a Mega Man X booster now. With all this terrain to cover. Oh! Hello! Jump boots! Yeah, let's go. Enhances your jumping ability. Wow! Okay, we got the high jump boots. Oh! Straight up do the, uh, the old Samus spin jump thing. Um, I was kind of hoping for a double jump, but I guess this works. Might actually make some of this harder <laughs> to do some of these moves where you kind of jump and, and shoot like this. Oh my gosh. It's like you have even more vertical speed than before. I guess this is forward, but now... Oh, do I have to hit it with the fist? I don't have the fist. Holy crap! That thing just jumped all of a sudden. Wow, this thing is freaking fast. For how small it is and stuff. Uh, I don't know how to get the fist back. Wait, I can go over here. Now I want to go back. I want to go... Because <laughs> now I know I can go back to that area where that power-up was. Oh shoot. Darn it, I'm gonna freaking kill myself before I get there. Yeah, honestly, I don't like the high jump as much as I would like a double jump because it's so... kind of exasperates this issue where you have so much vertical speed, it's kind of awkward. Especially for moving horizontally. You have a double jump, it actually helps with horizontal movement. Like, a lot. In ways that this doesn't, so... Um, with a double jump, you can actually get the benefit of jumping, like, twice as high or whatever. Kind of like what this does, but you can also use it more horizontally, like, much... Much more effectively. For horizontal movement and aerial stuff. And I actually can't... Can't actually go back here, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would, I would consider a double jump. Might seem cliche, but it really works well. Um, and yeah, I don't know what to do about this energy. Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, again with the really short timings on the invincibility. Um, okay, I didn't save after getting this for whatever reason. See, now I want to keep playing because I want to <laughs> I want to get further. Um, this is starting to get me with upgrades because upgrades feel so good. Uh, just to get more upgrades and then you can unlock new areas and stuff. But yeah, this, I don't think this high jump feels very good. So again, the jump speed is so high, especially compared to the horizontal speed, so it feels like you're just kind of shooting up, but you can't really move very much horizontally. How do I get energy?
How do I get past this guy for that matter? Oof, oof, oh, oh my, come on! That's not, that's not okay. No, you can't have that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't usually, uh... <laughs> I usually, uh, present things in more of... an opinionated way. Um... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to, like, figure out this jump while I'm talking. Uh, so this is weird. Um, <laughs> what is... No, why does that punish me? So if I had the double jump, this would be easy, right? This is horizontally oriented. I guess that's the idea here. I don't know. Why does this lead to a dead end? That looks like well, it kind of looks like a missile, but it, I was thinking maybe it's like a booster for, for horizontal movement. That would be great. Um, I don't actually know of a way to get over there, though. And those spikes are right there. What the heck? I mean, where else do I go? I still don't have fist energy, so I can't get that one power-up that was way back there. And this guy... I don't even understand... This worked this time. <sighs> At least give me fist energy so I could try to get that other one. Even if it was like way back there. And up here, I can't go up there. I can't even jump high. Enough. Oh gosh, what the heck? This guy's really wacky in the way he moves. And he's so small, it makes him harder to shoot. Ah. I'm not a fan of that guy. I literally can't do anything except try to farm energy from these enemies. Oh no. These actually ridiculously dangerous pink guys. Oh my gosh. All right, I got health. Like, two health. Screw you. These are the only guys I can kill, because I can't damage these. Oh my gosh, so I think I just have to actually go... ...back in here and then <laughs> respawn these guys. Um, this could take ages. I should probably just wrap up the video here. I really want to know what the other upgrades do, though. So I want to have opinions on them, too. <laughs> uh... Oh, right, I was supposed to kill these guys. Yeah, and they do take a lot of shots, so... A bit unsatisfying. You think of like Metroid, for example, or, or even the Mega Man games. Um, like sometimes it's okay if they can take a lot of shots, but those games have have the charge shot. So it's like a lot of the time you can just kind of charge up the shot and you just kind of run into them and just blast them in, in one shot or something, you know, or one or two. Um, and that can kind of mitigate this this issue where it, it takes so long to to kill the enemies here. Oh my gosh. Here, let's try this. I think this is faster. Gosh darn it. I appreciate how fast that is. I wonder if it prioritizes giving you health if you have low health. At this point, I don't even care. Like, obviously, it's bad to have only four health, but I literally can't progress unless I have that energy. Aha! One energy. Okay. Um, something I can work with. 
At least I could go one way past, past that barrier. All right, let's go do it. Hopefully, somewhere along the process here, I'll get another doodad. Yeah, so this is pretty tiring. It's uh, definitely testing the patience a bit more. No, I should, should have waited for that guy. Getting impatient, so <laughs> doing dumber things, I guess. Uh, I don't like that. This guy's... The way that they move is not helpful. Alright, health. Um, which way is that place? Is it this way? I don't know. I think so. Okay. Nice. That sounds pretty cool when you do that. <laughs> okay. Save the game. Still moving to the right. Let's try the speedrun thing. Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. I, I was pretty sure I made it. <sighs> Alright. Well, good thing we just saved, huh? Um, I don't, don't know if it's going to continue properly. No. Keep forgetting about that. Alright, I'm definitely going to go get that other freaking power-up. Because now I need to know what happens. <laughs> uh, I usually don't play test for this long, but... That was dumb. <laughs> you should not play test for quite this long. So, I guess just the fact that I kind of want to <laughs> uh, is reason enough. I mean, you'll get a little more feedback if you can bear to watch for that long. Uh, I think, yeah, this is where I wanted to be. These guys are really, really tricky with the moving platform because you can't jump properly because thing is moving up and down, so the height of your jump isn't correct anymore. I'm sure I said that already, but <laughs> like every time I run into something like this, it's like I want to say it again. Uh, like I wish I could fix it myself or something. Um, let's see if I can not die. Okay, nope. That guy shoots really fast. Yeah, so... Oh, again, I hit the continue. Gosh darn it. Those guys shooting the moment they come on screen is really... hard to react to. It's not really reactable. Oh, okay, we're in the pit of spikes, because I was holding forward. Oh, gosh. Ah, shoot, why did I do that? No, I only have two HP again. Gosh darn it. At least the high jump helps a bit here. So yeah, I think there's a little sound effect when this opens, but it happens like the instant the last enemy dies. So it kind of the sound kind of corresponds to the enemy dying. It doesn't really 
register in the brain as a separate action. So I would actually put a little, like a small delay after you defeat the last enemy and then uh, open this door with a little sound effect. Because then like the player, because they get the audio feedback, they're like, oh, there's, there's another thing that happened because I killed the last enemy. And that'll actually prompt them to kind of want to look around to see what that is. So they can actually notice that this is like a door thing that opened. Oh my gosh. Please give me one of these orbs again. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, right? So I can't do anything about this yet. Yes! Thank goodness, okay. Now I should be able to get up here, right? Dash boots! Step at incredible speed for a short time. Press key dash while on ground or in air to dash. Alright, sounds like what I've been eating, but what do I press? That's the fist I just wasted. <laughs> the precious, the precious fist energy. Um, oh, okay, so the bumpers will change here. Oh, nice, 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 okay. So that's not, I'd rather that be on the right trigger. Um, I don't think it's configurable yet in the options. I, I think that'll probably come in the future, but... Um, okay, so unfortunately you can't jump out of it, so that's disappointing because... <laughs> because you can do that in Mega Man X and that feels great. Um, so it's not quite the Mega Man X dash. I really wish you could jump out of this, but uh, still extraordinarily useful considering how limited the horizontal movement has been so far. Um, so along with that... Okay, oh my gosh. Oh no! It's not enough. Alright. Um... Yeah, so, I kind of thought this might happen, so the thing is, like, I got to that new area that's way off to the left here that I'm going to go back to now, um, assuming I don't die. And, yeah, so I got all the way, like, way off to the left there, and then it ended up that, like, I got a power-up, but the thing that I had to do to continue progressing is to go, like, all the way back back this way. It just feels really wrong to have to go back so far and then have to go back forward again. Um, like I can understand, uh, you know, non-linearity and all that stuff, but I think if you're, if you're just gonna go straight backwards that far in order to go forwards again, like maybe it shouldn't be like a, a critical power-up, you know, maybe it should be like a health power-up or something just kind of messes up the flow of the progression, I think. Um, it's like I wasn't even in that new area very long before I had to already go back to this area and go like way back to get the next power up so I can go back to the new area again to progress in there. Um, gosh darn it. No. Crap, I should have just left that. Oh, I have to kill that. Jeez, I'm heck, I'm almost dead. Um, so yeah, this progression feels pretty wonky. Um, it's entirely sensible to want to incorporate some of the non-linearity in the overall progression of the game, but I think you still want to have a sense of flow in it that's not just like going like all the way backwards, you know. It's kind of how this feels. Well, I bonked. That's unfortunate. Um, this is a lot faster, isn't it? Oof, but again, I can't jump out of it. It's really unfortunate, I think. Gosh darn it. I'm too impatient to deal with this guy. Oh, man. I hit the continue. Crap. Oh, that was frustrating.
Okay. So yeah, that, that vertical speed on the jump is pretty rough. No, I can't- oh, I can't actually just get back up from down here. I thought because I got the, the jump power up that I could actually just jump back up here. Apparently not. Um, I'm not actually sure how far back that takes me. I don't know if there's a purpose to this room, actually. That's the starting point. Still only have 3 HP. This is where I'm going. Leave me alone. <laughs> I do not want to die at this point. Oh my gosh, I need health. Oh my gosh, that almost got me. Two health. All right. All right, we're still moving. I know what to do. Just have to not die. Um, I think go back here. Yeah. A little weird how I couldn't dash over that uh, transition there. Give me that. Thank goodness, okay. Oh crap. Oh crap. oh my gosh, you can get stuck on the spikes because the the water slows you down and the uh <laughs> the really short invincibility time there. So yeah, I I got uh my jump height got screwed up by the water there. Alright, what is this? Beam booster. We get charge shots? Increases beam size and damage. Hold fire to charge for a more powerful shot. Cannot be used with beam combinations. Oh, come on! <laughs> but it looks the same. Oh, it's barely bigger. Oh no, this isn't good. Okay, if you don't charge it all the way, it doesn't shoot anything. No, it's, it's definitely got to shoot something, even if it's just the same old pea shooter. When you let off the button, it's got to shoot something. Um, yeah, it's really disappointing how small that is. I don't know if it's powerful. I mean, obviously it's more powerful by... Given that they said it is. I think I can damage this guy now. Is that what's happening? I can't actually... I can't actually tell because the sound effect kind of... Yeah, I guess so. Okay. The sound effects weren't really... I mean, this makes such a big sound that it kind of covers all the other sounds, I guess. Um, but even so, like, this takes so long to charge up. And these guys take so many hits, it's just like, why even do this? Why even bother to make these guys weak to this? It just takes so long. So yeah, I'm curious as to why you decide to make the charge shots so long. Um, because, you know, like other games that feature this kind of thing, they don't take nearly as long to charge up the shot. Um, I believe in, like, the later Mega Man X games, you could get, like, a get like a bigger shot, and then you could get, like, a like a really massive shot if you charge it up really long, that kind of thing. But this is just to get, like, any kind of charge shot. It's really long. Um, and yeah, definitely... Oh, what the heck? This guy's insane. Definitely would be nicer if the bullet was... A lot meatier. Give me something beefy because these bullets are already really small, so it's like really particular trying to hit the enemies with them. But if you give me a nice beefy one, then it can like actually collide reliably, and especially considering how long you have to wait for it to charge up. You don't want to just miss a shot because it's just such a small bullet, you know? It's really frustrating, so. Um, oh, maybe that's what this is for. Maybe not. <laughs> I can shoot from here. 
Is that gonna work? Gosh darn it. No! Why do you jump at variable heights? I'm so confused by these pink guys. They're insane in the way they move. I can't tell how close I am to shooting that. Get that hit. I totally hit, right? Yeah, so that's not what's going to take care of this. The music stopped. Uh, I'll save here, I guess. Okay, so at this point I'm not sure where to go, so, um... Oh, you can't dash multiple times in the air, that's good to know. Might be nice if you could do that after a short timer. Maybe not instantly, of course, but... Just a brief timer after you stop that you can kind of dash again, that would be cool, I think. Uh, so it looks like I can go up there somehow. Ugh, it didn't shoot the bullet, okay. Um... That looks like the only place I can go, so... Yeah, I don't have anything like in memory. Maybe if I go back somewhere else, there's another place I can go with the... Something, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so at least I got an idea of some of the power-ups is really good because for the whole first part of the game there was just zero power-ups. Um, so it's really good to see that because the power-ups are kind of what make this kind of game. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're cool power-ups. It's definitely cooler to have them than to not have them. Like, absolutely. Um, oh, come on. That's still not enough to... If you do it beforehand, it'll make it shorter the amount of time you have to kill the guy, but it's still a little disappointing, I guess. Um, oops, that was dumb. Oof, okay. Um, oh, I hit the continue again. I'll probably... <laughs> this is a good stopping point, finally. Uh, so yeah, about the power-ups, I found that they were a bit, a bit, uh, disappointing in, in certain ways, I guess. I mean, it's, they're definitely cool to have, but, um, you know, I kind of mentioned it as I came across them, but I mean, the, the high jump boot thing, it's like, yeah, it, it's obviously helpful. It's better to have it than to not have it, but, um, I feel like. Well, like I said, a double jump would be better um, in terms of its versatility. It's, you could do more things. And I can understand, you know, you're kind of trying to limit the, the horizontal movement because you have the dash that's supposed to fit that niche. You know, that kind of makes sense. Um, so, you know... Me, personally, I might still try to do the double jump thing, but I can understand if you don't want to do it for that reason. Um... <clears throat> The other thing is the with the dash, even though the dash is cool, the fact that you can't jump out of it, uh, I feel like is kind of a frustrating limitation, um, especially after playing like all of the Mega Man X games, you know, and um, it just seems like a limitation that doesn't really have a reason to be there, you know, it's like, why not just let you <laughs> jump out of the dash like you can in those other games and, you know, it's just, it's just more fun and it gives you more mobility and stuff. Um, so that feels a little bit disappointing. Uh, obviously the, the jump speed, I feel like, is a little bit too much. That seems to affect a lot of things in, in negative ways. And it's just, a, it's just a, uh, you know, a subtle detail. Like, I don't think you, could, you should make the jump speed really slow by any means, but just maybe just a little slower would actually help a lot of things in small ways that really kind of matter, you know? Um, <clears throat> but that also, I think, would work well with the the whole um, the high jump thing. I think that would feel nicer if the jump speed was a little slower, actually, because you just go so so fast, so uh, vertically fast when you jump with the high jump boot things, uh, whatever they're actually called in this game. 
Um, <laughs> so it's it kind of compounds the problem a little bit, but um, yeah, I think I'd, I'd actually like that more if it was a little bit of a slower jump and that kind of thing. Um, and you know what I said about the charge shot, you know, I'd definitely make that a lot bigger at, at the very least. And I don't see why to, why to make it take so long to charge up for that matter. Um, but yeah, it's definitely important that you make sure that something comes out when you let go of the button, even if, if you didn't full charge it. Um, but yeah, there's all stuff to consider. Uh, the Well, I think fundamentally the game feels pretty good. It's, um, you know, there's a lot of game here so far, actually, so uh, it's all pretty cool, and it's definitely compelling. There's just, you know, these little details, little little tweak things, things like uh, jump speed and um, what I mentioned about kind of simplifying the movements, the horizontal movements of the enemies even. I think these are all, like, really simple changes that you can make and um, would make, like, the whole thing more fun. And... You know, I, I think it's always great to see when there's a game that's kind of really quite fleshed out already, the way that this is, and the only things to me that are kind of holding it back are just kind of these things that would be quite easy to, to tweak, actually, and, you know, with the right tweaks, it would just feel a lot more uh, solid and enjoyable, I think, and then it's like, all of a sudden, you have all this game, and it's a blast to play, and, um, you know, it's exciting <laughs> to uh, to see the things that people are making and to kind of see the potential of them, you know. Um, a lot of times people can't even, you know, manage to finish what they're working on, so it doesn't matter if it's good or not, if, it, if they never finish it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool to see games that are already, you know, well along and stuff like that and, and have really good bones. Uh, I'm just kind of yammering at this point, but <laughs> this is a really long video. Hopefully you, you got uh, some good things out of it. Um, I'm curious to see where it goes from here, uh, definitely feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.